Hey YouTubers, Eli the OBD Tech. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I'm here revisiting this 2002 Nissan Sentra, which I did a video a while back on a faulty crankshaft position sensor. I already hooked up the scan tool, which I'm going to show you guys an image with the code on the upper left corner. The P0300 random multiple cylinder misfire. So now the question is which of the four uh, cylinders are misfiring, if any? So I have already my one channel U scope hooked up. I'll be using a secondary probe, it's an OTC, which I'll show you in the upper left corner the part number. And I purchased this uh, secondary pro from Amazon. I believe it was like $54 and change. All right, so um, you know, so let me set up this uh, U scope, and then I'll bring you guys back to his diagnosis. All right, all right, guys. So I have my uh, U scope already set up. I got my uh, secondary probe. So I'm gonna use my secondary uh, ignition probe. I'm gonna go one by one on all four uh, coil packs and see uh, which of these coil packs is causing this uh, random mis random cylinder misfire, if one or more. All right, so I'm gonna go start at number one and I'm gonna show you guys on the screen here. So here we go. So this is uh, coil pack number one. Where has we found a suspect uh, coil pack or cylinder that's misfiring, causing this P0300. As you can see there, it does have a good uh, firing line, but our spark duration seems to be dropping below one millisecond. The average is about one and a half. So perhaps we found one of the problems here. We'll go number two now. That one also has a good uh, firing line. The average duration of the spark line is about one and a half, which is good. I'm gonna go to number three now. That one also has a good uh, duration on the spark line, about one and a half on number three. I'm gonna go to number four now. This one also has a good spark line duration, about one and a half. I'm gonna go back to number one. So as you can see there, you see that our spark line keeps dropping below one millisecond which is not good. So our sp suspect cylinder is number one. Is it the coil pack? Is it spark plug? So, you know, so the next step I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna swap coil pack number one with number four and see if it, that uh, waveform falls number one to number four or if uh, the faulty waveform stays at number one cylinder. But one thing that I've noticed so far, guys, is you know, just by looking at the coil packs, by doing this visual inspection right now, I see that on um, coil pack number one seems to be sitting a bit higher than the rest of them. I'm not sure if you guys can see it from the camera. But it seems that this number one coil is sitting slightly higher. Perhaps there's a slight gap. I'm not sure, perhaps maybe the spark plug is not fully tight. All right, all right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and swap number one with number one with number four coil and see if that waveform falls number one with number four or that faulty waveform stays at number one. All right guys, so I'm gonna set up and then show you. Okay, right, so before I swap these coils, number one and four, I'm gonna show you guys further evidence that my visual inspection was correct. I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick it up. You know, I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys real quick. But hopefully you guys can see that, that there's actually a gap between here, between, let me see if I could show you guys real good. That there's actually a gap between the rubber boot, this little rubber piece on the coil pack and the housing of the uh, coil. There's actually a, a gap there. 
So my assumption was correct that the uh, coil pack is sitting slightly higher than the rest of them. The fleece right here, this is a gap. This right here by my fingernail. That's the gap that I, I'm, actually, I'm actually seeing compared to the number four here. There's actually no gap right here and there's a rubber piece of the of the uh, coil pack. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and swap these coil packs. All right guys, so as I remove uh, coil pack number one and number four, it's pretty much obvious that there is a difference between number one and four. There's actually some damage here on the uh, rubber boot end of the uh, coil pack compared to number four. It seems to be in good condition. So like I said, my assumption was that this coil pack was sitting higher than the other three of the coil packs. So I'm thinking that the uh, spark plug is not fully flushed all the way in, which causes this uh, coil pack or this uh, rubber boot to get crushed. So in other words, uh, hopefully this spark plug is not damaged or perhaps the spark plug thread on the uh, cylinder head is not damaged. Just for the fact that this uh, coil pack was sitting much higher so I guess, uh, like I said, before I even look at the spark plug for any damage or just the condition of the spark plug, number one, I'm going to go ahead and swap the coil packs, number four, one and four, to see if that waveform follows this uh, coil pack to number four, or if the uh, faulty waveform stays at, at the number one cylinder. All right, guys, so I'm going to set up and show you. Okay, so I swapped the coil packs. I got the number one to number four and number four to number one. And see the difference? There's actually that gap that I was talking about. As I push down, I can't go no further. So I'm thinking that the problem is it is a spark plug that's probably sitting too high. It's not fully seated all the way into the cylinder head. And and look at the difference between the number four here. Okay, so this is a damaged boot right here. I'm gonna stick it back in there, and it's flushed. There's no gap. All right, so I'm gonna leave this this like this. I'm gonna just uh put the bolt back but I'm not gonna really make it too tight just hand tie right there and I'm gonna you know show you guys the waveform to see if that problem still stays at number one all right all right guys so I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the cylinders now is I swap number one with number four and four to one so I'm gonna probe number one now we see that our firing line is good our spark line is not dropping below one millisecond, it's around one and a half, which is good. So the problem is not the spark plug. It's gonna probably end up being the coil pack. The vehicle is misfiring at this moment. So I'm gonna jump to number two now. That's number two, also good. Number three. And number four. Like I said, this is coil pack number four. We see that we lost the our spark, our spark line. You see how it is all the way down. The vehicle is not misfiring at this moment. So there you go, it's misfiring once again. So the problem, it is a coil pack. It's causing this random cylinder misfire. Said I'm, I'm back probing that uh, number four, which is that faulty core pack. I'm gonna go to number one again. See, so number one is not is it no longer misfiring. I'll go back to number four. Right now the vehicle is not misfiring. But as soon as it misfires, you see that our spark duration does drop. 
indicating a misfire. So right now it's running like a normal vehicle with no misfires. Hopefully it misfires again for you guys. But I'm still going to go and check that all, uh, all four spark plugs to see the condition of them. And also verify what's causing that number one spark plug not to go all the way down flush to the cylinder head. Which to me, it caused this core pack to go bad since it, since it was perhaps crushed due to the fact that it was not sitting properly flush. So four of the vehicles not misfiring. Okay, right there, you know, there was a misfire there. All right, guys. So this pretty much already concludes, and sounds like the, the core pack that was on number one is the cause of this uh, P0300. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, and call the customer to see if he wants me to replace it with a brand new one, or perhaps get one from the junkyard, a used one. So I don't know. We'll see what he decides to do. So the next step to this, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video inspection on that spark plug number one. All right, guys. All right, so as I remove the uh, spark plug, the spark plug did seem to be maybe anywhere from three quarters in. It wasn't really flushed all the way in, which was causing the cork pack to sit higher than the other three. But I do see damage there. Hopefully the camera can pick it up at the beginning of the thread of the spark plug. Especially right there. Perhaps it's either the spark plug or the uh, the cylinder head uh, threads got damaged. I'm not sure which of the two was the cause, but this vehicle will need a a set of uh, spark plugs, and I will use a uh, a spark plug thread chaser. Mm -hmm with some uh, anti-seize to see if I could fix this uh, problem here. All right, so I'll bring you guys back as soon as the customer decides you know, what to do with the core pack. All right. All right, guys, so the customer decided to replace it with the used one from the junkyard, so I went ahead and got one for him. The vehicle's adding much better. I don't feel no more misfires on that number, cylinder number one, in which we had a faulty coil, which was this one over here. I also went ahead and replaced the spark plug for him. I got some NGK radium. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my secondary ignition probe and go one by one again and show you guys that this vehicle is no longer misfiring. So this is cylinder number one. It's a nice firing line with a nice uh, spark line duration too, about one and a half. This is, I'm gonna go to cylinder number two. It's about the same as number one. I'm gonna go to number three now. Number three seems to have a little bit of a difference between one and two. This, this cylinder or this core pack may end up being another fall to one down the road so we'll see if the customer wants me to replace this one as well I'm gonna go to number four now there you go one through four so far showed pretty much the same except for number three my they have a uh, did have a little bit of slight difference between one two and four I'm gonna go back to number three it's still a good firing line no matter what Duration is about one and a half, which is also good. Number two, once again, and number one. So this is pretty much the fix already, which is a faulty coil pack on number one. All right, guys, so this is Eli Dobity Tech. Subscribe if you like. All right, YouTubers, it's gonna be a little extra bonus clip to this video. 
show you guys further evidence of why this car pack was faulty and the reason why it was misfiring on number one so pretty much after further uh, visual inspection I was able I was able to find this uh, hairline crack on the on the coil pack just above that rubber boot so in other words this spark was actually arcing outside the cylinder it was arcing inside the spark plug hole so that's the reason why we were getting at the moment uh, the misfire due to the fact that it was arcing so I have my test light already connected to ground I'm going to show you guys real quick that as I put the test light against this um, hairline crack we see that the spark actually jumps to, you know to the test light so I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and show you guys real quick all right guys so I'm gonna remove the test light about a half an inch you see that the spark is jumping this is about almost three quarters will you spark but as soon as I go outside the boot you see that the spark is actually jumping to, to this test light so this is why we, you know this vehicle was misfiring it was arcing inside the spark plug hole so this was actually almost a dead cylinder due to the fact that the spark was not reaching or full spark was not reaching inside the spark plug all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video